Matthew Vanderpool will be the one to watch this Sunday in the 2024 Tour of Flanders. The race is sure to produce all sorts of storylines and unpredictability as one of the hardest races on the cycling calendar. The Tour of Flanders, or Ron Vlam Vlanderen, as they call it here in Belgium, covers some of the most difficult cobbled stretches and climbs throughout the Flemish countryside. It is legendary, one of cycling's five monuments, and as always, should produce edge of the seat action. We're going to preview the course, the favorites, why Walt Van Aert is not racing, and yes, forecast the weather for Sunday. Walt Van Aert of Team Visma Lisa Bike fell in a massive incident with 67 kilometers remaining in the 2024 Dwarves Vlaan Vlaanderen. He sat on the side of the road and already you could tell that his chances of racing four days later in Flanders looked slim. The team confirmed later he had four fractured ribs and a broken collarbone. Due to the crash in Dwarves, he'll not only miss the Tour of Flanders and Perry roubaix races he planned his whole winter and spring around, but he'll also miss the Amstel Gold Race and the Giro d'Italia in May. We'll probably see him race the Tour de France in July alongside Jonas Vingago, which was not originally on his schedule. The incident was a serious blow and setback for the Belgian. The 108th Tour of Flanders winds 270 kilometers or around about 168 miles through the Flemish countryside. Starting from the north in Antwerp, heading south to Odenard, racing on cement motorways and on small lanes, cutting through farms that were once ravaged in World War I. Cobbled sectors like the Padestrat and Stationsburg will rip apart the group of nearly 200 cyclists and the climbs like the Molenberg, Kopenberg, Quermont, Paderberg will produce the 2024 victor. It's in those final two circuits that cover the old Quermont and Paderberg with just around 12 kilometers to race from the top of the Paderberg that are so crucial. Just ask the 2023 winner, Tade Pogacar. The Slovenian star of UAE Team Emirates will not be back to defend his title in the 2024 Tour of Flanders. He has other goals in mind for this season. He's targeting a win in the Giro d'Italia and the Tour de France, so he's had to cut other races from his schedule. We just saw him bashing the competition in the Volta Catalunya, and he's next to race in liege bastogne liege before going on to tackle the Giro d'Italia in May. Walt Van Aert retooled his entire winter and spring to be ready for the two big cobble classics, Flanders and Roubaix. He's devastated with broken bones and for sure spirit after everything he sacrificed to be ready. Dutch star Matthew Vanderpool is a two-time Flanders winner, winning in 2020, beating out Walt Van Aert, and again in 2022. He's the reigning world champion, racing in those rainbow stripes. He was already the favorite and now stands head and shoulders above the rest after Van Aert's Dwarves crash. He debuted in Milano San Remo by helping Jasper Philipsen win. He won E3 Saxo Bank over Van Aert and placed second to Mads Pedersen of Lidl Trek in Ghent Wevelgem. After seeing the crash in Dwarves Dwarf Landern, he'll be even more happy he skipped the race to focus ahead on Sunday's Flanders. He goes in as captain, clearly, of Team Alpesen de Kunik but can play on Philipson as a strong B plan. Visma Lisa Bike wanted to do the same with Van Aert and Matteo Jorgensen's setting shotgun. Jorgensen, however, entered a new dimension with his win in Paris Nice and of course, Dwarves Dwarf Landeren. Not only is he a backup plan, but he's the leader. The American from Idaho will lead the super team into one of the biggest races on the calendar with support from Tish Benoit and Dylan Van Barl. Maz Pedersen and Lidl Trek were definitely shaken from the crash in Dwarves Dwarf Landeren. Pedersen was able to get back up, find his bike, and continue to ride. Not the same for his friend and co-captain Jasper Stuyven. Later on in the hospital, it was revealed he's out with a fractured collarbone. So Lidl Trek will be tested as it tries to rebound, still with a strong team that includes Jonathan Milan, Tom Skewens, 
Ed Toons, and Tim DeClerc. Who are the other favorites for Sunday's race? Well, I'm looking at Matej Morhorich of Team Byrain Victorious with his British teammate and national champion, Fred Wright. Biniam Gourmet, Team Intermarche Wanti. If he's not feeling too much pain from the Dwarves crash. UAE Team Emirates with Tim Wellens and Mark Hershey. Stefan Kung with Lawrence Plithy of Team Groupama FDJ. And the Italian Alberto Bettiol from Team EF Education Easy Post. Maybe I'm leaving someone out, a surprise winner like Bettiol a few years ago. Let us know who do you think could be that guy to win on Sunday. Flow Bikes will have all of the race coverage live and on demand for our viewers in the United States, Canada, and Australia and all sorts of other content for everyone else in the world, including interviews, highlights, and on-the-ground coverage. I'll be there on the day this Sunday. If you haven't yet, take a moment to subscribe so you can see all the latest information from the Turf Landers and other classics content as soon as it's online. Just click that button right down below to subscribe. Thank you. The weather forecast for the Turf Landers, after a few sunny days, more nasty Belgian weather is predicted this Sunday. Rain clouds are rolling in all day Saturday and carrying over through Sunday. Expect a wet start to the race as the riders depart from Antwerp. Cold, around seven degrees Celsius or 44 degrees Fahrenheit and not improving much during the day with more rain and 14 degrees Celsius or 58 degrees Fahrenheit in the afternoon in Odenard. It'll make the going tough on some of the cobbled sectors and climbs with already bad traction becoming worse. Maybe we'll see less echelons though, with the winds not as high as what we saw in Dwarves Dwarf Landeren on Wednesday, but still windy from the east 18 kilometers an hour or 11 miles per hour. We'll miss Walt Van Aert on the start line in Antwerp, but with an American hope, the world champion at his peak and many others, you won't want to miss the 2024 Tour of Flanders.